Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dher Bagga and let's play some final blitz today and see how it goes. We'll try to be instructive in the game. Okay, I'll start with d4, trying to play the London system setup. Uh, pawn forward, so I have to take here. Queen comes out, I block with the pawn, opponent takes, I'll develop knight first. Pawn forward is one move which can be played. Which generally works if opponent has played a move like pawn forward from his side as well. Because if knight is developed and takes, then I have queen check and then taking on the pawn, the knight eventually. Okay. A uh, couple of ideas here. I can start with bishop attacking the queen. Queen goes back. I can develop the knight and then attack the queen again. Not bad option at all. Pawn forward loses. The pawn is undefended as well. So I have to defend it for now. So bishop saves it. Okay. I can double up here. Ideas of exchanging knights also might would have worked, but not now since pawn forward is being played. You can pin the knight. It's not a pin actually, but yeah, now it's a pin for the bishop at least. Um, do I want to take it? Do I not? Well, that's okay position to be in. I'll just play pawn forward. There are no tricks involved with knight moving away and then taking back because I take the pawn, the knight first. So this is good. Now I can pin the knight here. Come back with my knight if pawn forward. It doesn't come anyway. Then let's play. A4 myself. I can take with the pawn if some exchange happens. A pawn break won't work most probably. Ideas of castling queen side so that I can attack. Um, how do we proceed about it? Shall I play pawn forward? Is it too early? Let's improve the position of my knight maybe. This controls the pawn as well. So better. I can now maneuver the other knight after I play pawn forward is one idea. Okay. This is problematic. I can't take. And... It can cause some trouble, so I'll hold on to the diagonal. Opponent can take here. Now it's my choice. I take on the knight first, maybe. And let the bishop go. The knight looks more tempting to be taken here. I'm still attacking the bishop. Bishop goes back, and I can actually play pawn forward again, saving this pawn st structure. Castling would be an option eventually. Taking would be bad, so I'll play pawn forward. If I take, open takes, and suddenly this is more pressure after rook comes here. Okay, queen side steps, hitting the pawn, which is currently defended. Everything is sorted here for now. Uh, but let's castle, I think. Castling makes more sense now. Okay, pawn forward by opponent. So I have to take the knight or let it go. I'll take the knight here. Knights can be more tricky. As it was attacking the center pawn as well. Ah, king is wide open. This is interesting. This is really interesting. Let's go ahead with the queen in the center. Trying to go here now. That is one of the ideas. Rook can, of course, come in the open file as well. More so now. Attacks the queen. Queen has to be moved. Again. So don't play moves like these ever when you have a chance. Like This is very bad for the opponent. Uh, definitely this works. If pawn forward, I can still go here and then take the pawn eventually. Open can try and attack the knight but that's not going to be bothering me much please pawn forward instead which means i can have a pawn forward move and then maneuver my knight eventually 
Does that make sense? Yes, it does to me. Here and then over here is the idea. Oh, this is attacking the pawn as well. I miss this part. Uh, how do I go about it now? Maybe I let that go and take another pawn here. Um, I have the rook coming down as well, just in case. That pawn can't be saved anyway. So, does take. I can come back so at least I had got the pawn compensation which my opponent just take. Now I can go with the knight eventually here to the desired square which would be helpful. This allows my queen mobility as well. Okay, I'll still go here. Pawn forward would save any kind of double attack happening here. This hits the bishop too. And ideas of getting the rook over here as well which would pin the f pawn event on the long run bishop goes back which is strange move i would say because i can take a pawn of course i can come back as well this doesn't hurt pawn forward saves everything but my king is not pretty much safe now so i have to maneuver it we get the rook on the open file is gonna be a good idea Again attacks, so I can come back, still hitting the bishop. Bishop goes here, attacking the rook, the knight. Okay, I can move my knight, this is better. Attacks the rook as well. Open does take, which is good for me, relieving the pressure. That bishop was annoying. Okay, can play king here, I don't see any problems with this. Hop and triples up, but it's not bothering me much. This can be taken, I think. Um, let's go here. Uh, this would be a fork next. Or I can take rook and knight for a queen. Ah, that should be fine. But is it too much of material that I'm losing on or this folk works? I think the folk is better now anyway. Again, this pawn is going to be magical at the end. Pawn forward I take, so not an issue. It's a folk right now, which my opponent has to deal with. Earlier it was not possible because bishop was in the same diagonal. Okay, side steps. So I can take and give a check. Opponent takes. Now, what we can do here is, Maybe just go with the queen here, attacks the bishop and can go here as well with a check. Goes back, of course I can't take it, but who wants to take it is another question. Okay, go back, again threatening checkmate. Opponent saves, but that's a check again, which is good. And maybe I can just go here, which attacks the pawn. Oh, maybe I should have stayed there only. I should have stayed there only. Should I move the king and pressurize the bishop? Hmm, that should be okay. Oh, that is kind of a weakness, I would say. Let's give a check. Ideas of taking with the pawn next. Let's take. Opponent does take, which means I can take here. Um, let's go here so that there's no check coming at least. And I have the open file which I can use. Okay, I'll take here. 
Can I change the queens? Or I should take, I should take. I'm ahead. Let's keep the pieces on the board. Hitting the pawn as well. Okay, let's exchange if he really wants to. Doesn't. Now he has to take, it's a forced take. I go up. Let's go here, take the pawn. Everything is safe and solid. Of course, a queen is gonna come if required. Otherwise, rook and king are enough to checkmate. So that was as solid as it gets, I think. Pretty much comfortable throughout the game. Let's analyze from the computer perspective as well once. Uh, okay, I had to go to the first move. Okay, c4, c5, I took the pawn here. Played pawn forward. The knight played the e4 move if eventually. Then attacking the queen, queen goes back, then developing the knight with tempo, attacking the queen now, queen goes back, saving the pawn there, and then doubling up, spinning the knight eventually, which was, and then I played pawn forward, opponent proceeds from the other side of the board. I can take, but I don't for now. Um, safeguard my bishop there. Open castles, maneuvering the knight. It was attacked. And queen to b1 was the best move. Again, in the situation, opponent does take, which was bad. I took the knight first. What's the advantage if I take the pawn? Oh, I could have trapped the knight. Knight wasn't going anywhere. Knight wasn't going anywhere. No retrieval squares for the knight. Everything is controlled by my pieces. I should have taken the bishop first. I took on the knight, trying to press forward my pawn. That was the whole idea. So I didn't even think about taking the bishop first. And then maneuvering my I, I castle first and then had to take the knight here, then retrieving. Open does a mistake here. He should have taken with the bishop. Taking with the pawn is bad because you are just wide opening up your king. Yes, you can make use of that open file as well, which my opponent had the plan eventually to do it. But goes back. This was passive, as I said in the game as well. After rook here, queen again has to be moved. So don't play moves where a queen has to be moved again and again, or any piece for that fact. Then maneuvering my queen, which attacks the pawn. Open goes there. I play pawn forward. This was a bit weakening move. Could have gone with the knight, which hits the pawn. Open could have defended, of course. Uh, was there a way to defend both these pawns? If not move the bishop, yes. Move the rook, but then again, I can take because there's only one defense and I've got two attackers. So this was a much stronger move. Let's go back in the game where my opponent tries to hit my knight. So I had to take my the opponent's pawn first. Opponent does take and then we maneuver. Then maneuvering the knight again, hitting the bishop, then taking a pawn, which was kind of free, uh, and then pawn forward was bad. Pawn forward was bad. Oh. So the idea is bishop over to b6, and if I take, then rook takes. And if I take, then it's going to be bad because queen comes in, and that's kind of quick mate happening now after i move rook comes in to the party so that can be quick mate so that was a nice attack but i don't think bishop sacrifice was that much easy to be seen from there so that's a computer move as we generally say and then i get the knight back open tries to plant the bishop but that doesn't help i go with the knight which opponent takes and i take back with the queen this was a strong position to be in. I just moved the king first, trying to maneuver my rook over to the h file. Often gets the bishop there, attacking, and I go back over to c7, the right move. After pawn forward, a fork comes, which leaves the rook hanging. Opening does take back. I can push pawn forward simply and get the queen, but I decided to attack the bishop first, which goes away, and then I gave a check. And then rook to c8. These all are good moves. Then again, a check. Pushing the open ahead. 
I don't know why I didn't push the pawn forward. I thought not required at that point of time. Maybe can do later. But I went with rook again and then a check. On open takes. I take back and then yes, moving king to f3 was nice. But make sure that there's no checks coming. Open saves with the rook. I can give another check, but I took on the rook first. And then took, could have taken the queen, but I denied. And then just maneuvering pieces, and he was trying to play on time. We both were close on time. So then he had to take the queen. I take and take the pawn. This was easy end game. I continued, but yeah, pretty much comfortable throughout. Except uh, for the fact that bishop uh, b6, sacking the bishop and then continuing with the attack, that's something I don't think I would have seen it anyway coming. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting game. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.